YouTube, DJ's here, back at you with yet another DJ Brew 2 beer review. Well, guys, it's been a really long day. Tons of kid activities, tons of house chores, bunch of cooking, grilling, all kinds of crazy shit. So you know, if you've been watching this channel long enough, how I like to kick back, and that's with an Imperial Stout. And where am I going to go to find my kickback action today? My liquid happiness? A little bit of self-medication? I'm going to go to Green Flash Brewing Company out of San Diego, California, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And soon also Norfolk, Virginia. I'm going to have their double stout. Now, this is an imperial stout. It's a year-round serving. It's 8.8% ABV and 45 IBUs. Now... This particular version is a 2012. How do I know? Because I wrote the date on the bottom of the bottle when I bought this bottle. Because at the time in 2012, Green Flash was not dating their bottles. They just started that. So, now, this particular beer is Green Flash's take on an English-style Imperial Stout or Russian Imperial Stout, whatever you want to call it. And for ingredients in this, for malt, they state on their website anyway that they're using dark crystal oats and roasted malts in it and then for hops they're using um, UK Target to kind of have that like traditional aspect but it's their modern take on <clears throat> excuse me on an Imperial Stout now when I had this beer uh, fresh it reminded me a lot of a black IPA it was really hoppy and I said man I wonder what this is like when it cellars I taste and I can sense in the beer that it could be more if I cellared it I've never seen anybody do a cellar review let alone a two-year-old bottle at time of review this is probably two years and a couple months old so I'm gonna stop flapping my gums pop the top on this get it in my snifter and tell you what's up with the two-year-old or, or vintage double stout boom nice hiss off the top collectible or hortable green flash crown whatever is your bend Ooh, I can smell awesomeness from here let's see this has been lovingly cellared for two years look at that guys that is pouring awesome look at that dark head on that beer wow it's been a while since I've had this beer probably over a year I had one at a tasting about a year ago and it was real black IPA -ish like I remember when I bought this beer originally so we got a solid one finger head a super dark um, chocolatey looking bubbles really tight only a little tiny soap sudsy in the center put it up to the light ain't no light at all coming through this beer none none whatsoever when I swirl it let's see tons of alcohol legs and look at that glass lacing already clinging to the top of that snifter that's a gorgeous gorgeous looking stout time to get an aroma on this bad boy let's see what's up ah uh, yes okay when I smelled this last time I remember getting greeted with hops you know those target hops up in my grill now that's gone chocolate caramel mm, dark fruits dark roasted coffee not a hint of alcohol and there's a chocolate and like milk chocolate and dark chocolate thing going in there mixed with that caramel sweetness and the coffee wow and the dark fruits like raisins in the background and cherries man I'm ready to dive into this bad boy. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Man, look at that gorgeous glass thing. That rocks. The first thing you're greeted with is chocolate. Then you, right in the center, you get raisins, dark fruit. When going back towards the back, you get the co toffee and caramel on the end is like bitter dark roasted malt and coffee there's an earthy component to it as well from those target hops still left in this and I suspect also because of the really dark roasted grains that they use in this beer but man that is a tasty treat so much better than when it was fresh in my opinion this is how I like an imperial stout super smooth really silky nice medium full mouthfeel and it's got this really nice, like I mentioned, that roasted bitterness on the back end that draws you back in for another drink. Because, man, you remember on the front of the tongue, I had those dark fruits and in the middle of the toffee and the chocolate and coffee. Damn, yes. Man, super easy to drink. You cannot taste a bit of the alcohol. It wasn't in the aroma. Mm, goes down super smooth. There's not really much warming in the chest either. 8.8% dangerous beer goes down really easy and I just love that that like bitter coffee finish I'm, I like black coffee 
and man, that it's like hanging in there. But and there's enough sweetness in the beginning. There's really good balance and interplay in this beer. Two years in the cellar has really, in my opinion, elevated this brew to something special. I think I have a bomber somewhere. You know, I found this bottle because I don't really have a good account of my like singles, like these size bottles. Pretty good accounting of all my bombers and 750s, that kind of stuff. And maybe that, I can put this in my like lost and found reviews collection. I don't know because I had forgotten I had this one, and I'm glad I did because man, it's drinking bumping. So if you guys are thinking about selling this beer, fear not. It elevates it, and it's just damn tasty. So, you hear me geeking about out about this beer. What do the other guys think about this beer? Well, I got fresh grades for you anyway. Right Beer gives it straight up 99 fresh. I'm not down with this beer at being 99 fresh. It, for me, it wasn't that. And it was more like a, you know, a, like an imperial uh, black IPA. Um, in my opinion, anyway. Beer Advocate gives it a 92 fresh. I could maybe see that. Fresh, I would grade this beer more probably like a 90 or 91, A minus, you know. But cellared like this, I'm going to give it a really high A. I'm going to give it a 97. This is a really tasty beer. It is elevated. I would drink this any day. I would put it up against any other um, Imperial Stout. It's super silky, has great mouthfeel. It's what you expect. And look at this beer. That's gorgeous glass lacing on the glass when you swirl it. The head regenerates quickly. I mean, it's a really well-made beer and is a thing to behold seller. So, I'm sounding like a broken record now, selling, saying how much I like this. Have you had this beer? Let me know what you think. I love the quid pro quo. I love that back and forth. I want your opinion, too, because that rocks. Whether it agrees with mine or not, don't matter. I still like to hear it. So, to the next DJ Brew Tube, I also really like it when you think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement to keep this whole thing growing so more cellar surprises in the lost and found collection of your cellar come out and you say, damn, I love drinking this beer. I'm glad I sell it. So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks man to each and every one of you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And until then, I got nothing but a bunch of Imperial Stop drinking love for you. And you know what's coming. That's right. A big ass, a beast. Arr!